Hi guys, today we're going to create a scene on a piece of paper. Um, you're gonna need a pencil, some crayons, and maybe some markers or any pens that you have around. Um, here are my crayons and I have a green piece of paper just so that it shows some contrast on the video and you can see it. Um, and I'm going to use a Sharpie to trace my hand first so that you can see it. Um, but you probably want to use a pencil first. So we're going to create an ant eater that eats ants all day long. And I'm going to show you how to make ants in your picture too. So this is super easy. All you need to do is make a fist, a thumbs up, um, and I'm doing it the opposite way so that you can see this is going to be his little nose and what he sucks ants up with. Um, if you hear my dog in the background, he's excited to see all the squirrels, so I'm sorry that he's meowing, but he's not meowing, he's a dog. All right, so here we go. So you're gonna take your pen or pencil and you're going to start at the top and just go around your fist. It's just a thumbs up. And do your knuckles. And lift your hand up. So it should look something like this. Now, we're gonna add the details. And basically, all you do is make his back, okay? And his back can be wobbly. It's okay. And so an anteater also has a weird shaped tail. It's like a kind of a big blob. Okay, so there's his tail. And at each of those knuckle points, I'm going to add legs. And he's got legs to walk with. And you can just do simple shapes. And then we're going to add to his little snout here. Okay, and that's what he sucks up all the ants with. Okay, you can even like connect that in any way you like. It's kind of like an elephant, don't you think? So the next thing is to add his eye. And he has an ear. And he has a little curve right here. And... He has some detail on his back, just like a little stripe there, okay? So there's your anteater, and now you can, if you've used a pencil, you can erase some of the lines that you don't want to see or not, it's fine. But now you're gonna add the details of all the ants and all the other cool stuff. So what color is an anteater? He's kind of gray. So you can color in his gray body. And um, you're, you will, of course, add more detail than me. I'm just going quick so I can show you the sample of how you do it. And then maybe his feet are a yellow, you know? I'm trying to think of if I've seen an ant eater in real life at a zoo, what the little details are. Maybe you have seen an ant eater at the zoo. So his tail, I'm gonna make some stripes. Make it a little interesting here. Okay. And a white crayon, if you have a dark piece of paper, a white crayon is always fun to use. As you can see, white doesn't show up on a light piece of paper, so you'll just keep with your primary colors or whatever color you feel like making. Your anteater could be purple if you want. No, no um, limitations on color, okay? So I'm making my anteater gray and orange, and his snout, I think, is going to be brown. And this is where he sucks up all those delicious ants, okay? I'm gonna make his eye a little darker. And I'm gonna probably go back with some marker and make 
some fine details to my drawing. As most artists go back and look and see what they could add and do and change, and that's all good. So now that I have my black crayon in my hand, I wanna show you how to make ants really quick, and it's, it's very simple. Um, if you wanna practice, definitely use a pencil first. Um, so ants are really tiny, and they're really just a bunch of circles put together, and they have sections to their body, and they have antenna, and they have little legs. So there's your ant. And you can just make a whole ton of them because he's got to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right? So I think the next thing you can do, if you like, and this is all up to you, is to add the details of where does your ant eater live? Does he live in the jungle? Does he live in the forest? And I'm just adding grass with big, long strokes of green crayon. And I'm making a big scene here. So feel creative, get to work. And maybe there's more than one anteater. Maybe there are friends. Maybe there's a whole family of anteaters that you can create. The sky's the limit. My anteater is ready to go. Have fun.